vegan, the best thing you can do for yourselves and for the world. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Barnam hai ma shamel zaban hai besiarist. As in website, didan farmoid suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. The physical form of Sri Yukteswar appeared to Yogananda about three months after his guru's death. Venerated Swami Sri Yukteswar Giri, Vegetarian, Holy Science and Self-Realization, Part 2 of 2. Continue watching to find out more. I just said, I love you in the Kashmiri language. Delightful viewers, I'm Hina. The faithful people of Kashmir send you noblest wishes. Welcome to part two of our two-part series entitled Venerated Swami Sri Yukteswar Giri, Vegetarian, Holy Science and Self-Realization. Sri Yukteswar's master was venerated enlightened master Sri Lahiri Mahasaya who was initiated into the lost science of ancient Kriya Yoga by Mahabhatar Babaji in the mid-1800s. Sri Yukteswar founded several self-realization fellowship or Yogada Satsanga centers in India and set up the Society of Saints or Sadhu Sabha to inculcate a scientific spirit in religion. In Sri Yukteswar's younger days, his health was rather frail. One day, while recovering from an illness, his guru, Sri Lahiri Mahasaya, commented that his wellness was a matter of will, explaining, Thought is a force even as electricity or gravitation. The human mind is a spark of the almighty consciousness of God. I could show you that whatever your powerful mind believes very intensely would instantly come to pass. And so it came to pass. Sri Yukteswar gained 50 pounds instantly simply by the sheer act of will. One of Sri Yukteswar's chief disciples was Paramhamsa Yogananda, who wrote the well-known autobiography of a yogi and established the Self-Realization Fellowship in the U.S., introducing millions of Americans to the teachings of meditation and Kriya Yoga. Sri Yukteswar taught that a vegetarian diet is beneficial to spiritual growth and mental and physical well-being, improving the mind, intellect, will, temperament, and overall disposition. A variety of grains, fruits, roots, juices, and pure water are generally the best natural food, congenial to the human digestive system and assimilation. As Paramhamsa Yogananda recalled, Sri Yukteswar ate very little and very simply, but was always very generous to any visitors. One day, Sri Yukteswar said to Yogananda, You are too thin. Medicines have limitations. The creative life force has none. Believe that. You shall be well and strong. A fortnight after the Master's command, Yogananda made a complete recovery from his childhood dyspepsia. Sri Yukteswar performed many more divine healings treating tuberculosis, diabetes, epilepsy, and paralysis. Miracle healings are not to be taken lightly, though. As he explained, A man of realization does not perform any miracle until he receives an inward sanction. God does not wish the secrets of his creation revealed promiscuously. Sri Yukteswar said to Yogananda, I will see that you pursue your last two years of university work right here in Sarampur. But at the time, 
there was no university there that offered a program for Yogananda to complete his AB degree, which is similar to a present-day Bachelor of Arts degree. Not long after, however, Serampore College successfully obtained funding to offer a course for an AB degree. Yogananda spent most of his days at the Serampore Hermitage instead of at the college halls. With five days remaining before the A-B exams, there was little hope that Yogananda would succeed. Unbothered, Sri Yukteswar said, It is more possible for the sun and moon to interchange their positions in space than it is for you to fail in getting your degree. Just before the exam, Yogananda's college mate, Romesh, gave him a five-day intensive course. The questions that Romesh formulated for him appeared in almost identical form on the exam sheets day after day. Yogananda passed every exam paper and graduated, just as his master had predicted. One day, Sri Yukteswar fulfilled Paramhamsa Yogananda's quest for cosmic consciousness with a gentle tap on his chest. Instantly, his soul and mind lost its physical bondage. Yogananda said, The Spirit of God, I realized, is exhaustless bliss. His body is countless tissues of light. He described his encounter with cosmic consciousness. A swelling glory within him began to envelop towns, continents, the earth, solar and stellar systems, tenuous nebulae, and floating universes. During his last days with his guru, Yogananda's longing for his master's enduring love was finally assuaged when Sri Yukteswar said, during my married life, I often yearned for a son to train in the yogic path. But when you came into my life, I was content. In you, I have found my son, Yogananda. I love you always. Sri Yukteswar left his body on March 9, 1936. Yogananda conducted solemn rites for him the following day, and he was buried in the garden of his Puri ashram. Before his passing, Sri Yukteswar had turned over all his properties to Yogananda, entrusting him to find someone to manage them. About three months after his passing, the physical form of Sri Yukteswar appeared to Yogananda. During a lecture in 2012, Supreme Master Ching Hai recounted this touching encounter between Sri Yukteswar and his beloved disciple. His teacher, his master, Sri Yuftawar, scold him, you know, make him feel, uh, how you say, yeah, almost like belittling him all the time. Yes. And then so, but he lost no respect or love for his master. Yes. Uh, one day he even asked him whether he really loves him as the master. So the master say yes. Then he was happy. And then after he died, after the master died, he appeared to Yogananda as a live person. From the astral world, he crossed the border, came back to see his beloved disciple. And he hugged him and all that. And uh, his master, she yoked the word, told Yogananda, the, the, the deceased master came back to life, okay? After a long time, huh? Mm -hmm. Like Jesus' resurrection, huh? he came back like a real person. So Yogananda was touching him and feel uh, like flesh and bone is real. So some master can do that if they want to. But the disciple also has to be in a higher position in order to feel it, yeah? Because even though it's materialized, but if you're blind, you see nothing. <laughs> and if you hug him, you don't feel anything. So now the master say. The first time ever, he says sorry to his disciple. He said, I'm sorry, Yogananda. When I was alive, I was too strict to you, and I scold you all the time. Are you still angry with me? or you sh Something like that, you know? You forgive me? And Yogananda, Yogananda was so, you know, he was so crying and happy. And said, oh, Master, I wish you could come back and scold me again, again, and again, all the time. Because he's gone already. 
Even if you want him to score, he cannot anymore. The, the master cannot always stay so long, you know? So just come hug him, tell him for a while, and then he has to go. He cannot keep doing this. I told you already, astro beings can also have visa to come here for a while. <laughs> Second, uh, beings have some visa. How, how much, how much, remember I told you in Hungary? Yes. So higher beings sometimes can go down and stay with us just like normal people. Uh, for a little while. Huh? So the master of Yogananda did that. He made use of that law. But then Yogananda was say, oh, I wish you could, you know, like return to life again and scold him anytime. <laughs> yes, but cannot. As Paramhamsa Yogananda revealed, in a former incarnation, he had been William the Conqueror. And Sri Yukteswar had aided him as his counselor and priest, Archbishop Blessed Lanfranc. Now, the ever merciful and compassionate Sri Yukteswar continues his mission to liberate souls in the astral world, as Supreme Master Ching Hai explained during a 2018 lecture in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Just like if you read the, the book from Yogananda, huh? His master, she used the word, really. He's in the astral world just because he was appointed to be there to teach, you know, the astral beings. These astral beings could be his former disciples also who has not been able to ascend further. Yeah, and the master, of course, will continue to stay there to teach them all the way up to the fifth level. Mm -hmm. How blessed are we to have such benevolent, enlightened masters grace our planet. With deep gratitude, we pray that all beings may follow the sage wisdom of these great beings and walk the way of compassion and peace for the advancement of our world. Enlightened viewers, thank you for your delightful company today. Coming up next is A Gift of Love simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, traditional olaxis or Vietnamese pudding, raw salad with mint soyonese sauce, fried vegan shrimp wrapped in rice paper, crispy vegan meatballs and french fries, part 3 of 3, here on Supreme Master Television. May heaven's grace Light your path to spiritual upliftment. Vegan, cause we should eat fresh food, not dead corpses. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash ls. <laughs>